Okay. All right, Paris, thank you uh, very much for spending a little time with us. Uh, let's start it out with Doug Lamaris, cleveland.com. Hey, Paris, uh, when you decided to come to Ohio State and you saw, you know, the depth chart and, and where guys were, did you have in your head at all that you would have maybe a pretty good chance to be a starting tackle as a sophomore? And how does it feel now when you have, you know, two really veteran guys ahead of you and it feels like you're maybe in line for a position switch for this year? Uh, yes. Uh, well, when I first um, was recruited here, I definitely, I took a look at the depth chart and I sort of made some assumptions and I saw that, you know, that by my sophomore year, there would be a spotted tackle, but um, but with everything that's happened, I'm 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 more than happy to to, to play guard, you know, because Coach Day said he wanted to have the best five people play, and he saw it fit with me at being at guard, and I'm more than happy to play, you know, that position. Thank you, Paris. All right, let's go next to Bill Rabinowitz from the Columbus Dispatch. Paris, what has the adjustment been like? What's been the, the biggest thing you've had to learn switching from, from tackle, which I'm assuming you played your whole life, to, to guard? I think the biggest thing is I feel like when you're a tackle, you're, you're usually on an island, so you're working by yourself, or you might have some help from your guard, depending on, you know, where the ball is cutting. But a lot of the times you're by yourself. So now at guard, you know, you're, you're always helping your center you're always helping a tackle. So I feel like it's sort of switching a mindset. You can't have a tackle mindset at guard, but I've learned to take, um, I would say uh, the abilities that I've learned at tackle as far as being able to read linebackers and safeties and corners. I've definitely, I've, I've tried to utilize that at guard. So I'm able to um, see the bigger picture. So I would say that's definitely helped. Thank you. All righty, next up, uh, let's go to Dan Hope from 11 Warriors. Dan. Hey, Paris. Obviously, you got a little bit of playing time in the college ball playoff last year at guard. How valuable were those reps to you in preparing you to now compete for a starting guard spot? Those reps were really valuable. Um, I, I would say in those moments, I was just really excited to be out there and play. And um, I, I would say um, it allowed me to really, I felt like in, in those moments of me being in guard and the playoffs they really allowed me to get a taste of the action you know from a different position I guess I wasn't really expecting you know so me jumping in there and doing it and being able to do it like it was really exciting so it made me like look forward to you know if that's where the team needs me to be at this season I I, I know I'm able to do it because I've shown that I'm able to do that job had you been hey, practicing we'll hard at that point oh can, can you repeat that had you been practicing at guard at that point? Yes, I did practice at guard. Um, I split time during those couple of weeks. Um, I guess the week and a half, like before those games, I split reps between tackle and guard, going back and forth, depending on like the series. All right, next up, Tony Gerdeman, Buckeye Scoop. How difficult is it to say you're a left tackle but then you go play right guard. How, how difficult is it to learn the, the hands and, and the, you know, just going from left-handed to right-handed for you? Um, I would say being able to switch from left guard to right guard seems pretty seamless. I feel like because if anything, you're, you're just flipping the, the protection or the call in your head. And then since you have your hand down, I feel like um, the balance and the stance is relatively the same. That's why I feel like it's pretty easy to go from left to right in terms of um, – Guard, I feel like a tackle is different for sure. But I feel like for guard, it's the same. So I feel like it wasn't that bad. All righty, let's go next to Nathan Baird, Cleveland.com. Yeah, Pierce, kind of going back to the question Doug asked you, but we talked to Thayer um, a while back in the spring, and he said that he had been kind of talking to you while he was going through that decision-making process, that sort of stay or go process. Um, what kind of feedback did you give him when he was kind of talking about that or asking you questions about it? And um, was it hard to kind of maybe set aside your own thoughts of where you wanted your career to be at this point while he's talking about, hey, I might be coming back and playing that spot that you kind of had dry on? I feel like um, 
that just speaks on the brotherhood that, you know, that goes on here because obviously like Thayer knew, you know, where uh, my mindset was at, but I feel like, you know, for him to come to me and he kept it real with me and he was telling me his thoughts on coming back and he asked me, you know, you know, what were my thoughts on it? And, you know, and I was telling him, I was like, at the end of the day, you know, most important thing is, and, you know, which we agreed on, which, which he brought up was, you know, him getting his degree and then being able to go the highest that you can when you leave this place, you know, to, to, to maximize that opportunity. And we agree, you know, for me personally, I told him just to pray on it and go and do what, you know, where he felt peace. And then that should be the decision. He said he felt peace with coming back. So I told him, you know, you shouldn't go against that feeling. So, so I was all for it. You know, he felt excited about it. He had peace about uh, coming back and, you know, having a great season. So I was excited about it. All righty, we'll do two more because we got Nick Petit Frere waiting for you. Uh, first one to Bill Landis. Bill. Hey, Paris, so, uh, along those lines, I guess, you know, you, you guys come to Ohio State to do a lot of things. One of those things is, is to go off to the NFL and get drafted as, as high as you can. And I think we all know that tackles make more money than guards and get drafted higher. Um, did that enter your mind at all when, when you were entertaining the idea of possibly moving to guard about what it could mean for your future? Or are you just confident that, you know, you play a guard and then eventually you get to tackle and it can all still kind of happen for you? So right now, I feel like the – the biggest opportunity that I have at starting a guard is that I get to show versatility. And I feel like that adds a lot of value. And I feel like next season, I will have the opportunity to play at tackle. But right now it shows that I have the versatility. And I think like the biggest thing now, you know, I'm not draft eligible after the season. So if any, like, so like my biggest thing this season and next season is what does the team need? you know, so we can get to where we want to be at because I feel like, you know, you know, because like when you're in, like when you, you, you play a professional football, you know, you can't just, unless you're a veteran guy, you can't just be, I'm just a left tackle. I'm just a right tackle. You know, if somebody goes down, you're going to need to be able to play tackle and guard left and right in the league with the amount of people that travel. So I feel like if anything, this is just preparation to be able to just move around and be flexible. And I feel like the league would appreciate that when it's time. So. All righty. And last question for Paris. We'll go to Brendan Gulick, Buckeyes now in SI. Paris, I was just wondering uh, of the, you know, veteran guys that are in your room, who's had the biggest impact on you and, and what that's been like for you here this spring? I would definitely say uh, Nick Petit for sure has definitely had the biggest impact on me this spring um, because, you know, with me and him uh, playing next to each other, just building that relationship and like building that, um, you know, that bond on the field because, you know, that's what he had with Wyatt Davis last season. And then as you get to play that guard and tackle combination, um, you, you start to get a feel for like how you both play. And I feel like we've definitely been building that this spring. So each practice, we've definitely, like, we've gotten to learn how we both play and to complement each other's abilities. So I've definitely said that time that I've spent with them has definitely been beneficial. Awesome. Paris, thank you very, very much for your time. And uh, we appreciate it. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.